Paige Stratman, and you can get her latest CD, Who Can Compare to You? And we want to run right out and get that. She's amazing. Let's hear it again for Paige. guest, Dr. Edmund Chen. He's a pioneer, and pioneers suffer because they go through much adversity when they are giving us something that is totally new and unique. So he has had his battles, but he's won every one of them. Dr. Edmund Chen has been a pioneer in bioidentical hormone supplementation, and uh, he has a longevity uh, life extension center in Palm Springs, California. Dr. Chen, welcome to TBN. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Now, we just read last month that the Nobel Prize for Science this year proved something that you've been working on for about 20 years. Can you tell us what that is? Yes. Uh, the Nobel Prize this year, 2009, in medicine, uh, was award, awarded to the field called telomerase and telomere. And most of you don't even know what those words mean. Okay, let me explain a little bit. Uh, telomere actually is a portion, uh, the tail portion of our DNA. It uh, exists in every one of you, every cell uh, has a DNA, and at the end of the DNA is telomere. Uh, scientists never knew what it was for. Uh, for centuries, now they know it controls the lifespan and the health and the health of the cell. Mm. And these three scientists um, that got the award uh, proved that telomerase, a substance in the cell also, uh, lengthens this telomere. Mm. So as long as the telomere is long in your DNA, you are healthy, your cells are healthy, you are living. If it's short, you are aging, you're getting sick, and when it's gone, the cells die, which means you die. Mm -hmm. So, actually, the, I think the Nobel Prize uh, Committee is being a little humble. They should have said the award is given to these scientists for finding the fountain of youth. Mm -hmm. Truly is, mm -hmm. because with telomerase, which is the fountain of youth, mm -hmm. if we can introduce telomerase into our cells, keep that telomere living long mm. in our cells, we won't die. Mm. And they have proved that already in, in our human cells, uh, in a laboratory condition. Now, help us to picture this now. Would the, would the uh, telomere be like a, a shoestring? It's a, it's a shoe of a shoestring. Uh, the shoe tip of a shoestring. Oh. A shoe, so so every, every, every shoelace has a shoe tip. And the reason they make a tip out of a shoelace is to make the, 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 the shoelace last longer, right? Yes. So that's exactly the function of telomere, because the, the tel as long as the telomere is long, the shoelace is intact. Okay, so everybody wants this long telomere. Right. How do we get this long telomere? That's the key. Bioidentical hormones, turns out, control the fact that we use water, the telomerase. Mm. So now you, you realize how important bioidentical hormones are in your body. Your, the hormones in your body control, the, to activate the telomerase, tells it to work. Mm. So when your hormones drop, actually, your telomerase goes to sleep. Your father uses water, put it to sleep, and when it goes to sleep, your telomere gets shorter and shorter and shorter. And that's how you get disease, you age, mm. and you go. So my shoestring is getting frayed. Yes. <laughs> Just trying to understand. But it's getting frayed when my hormone level drops. Yes. Which traditionally then age drops hormone levels unless they are replaced. Which is the other way. Right. Oh, the, 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 the age results from the dropping of the hormones. Then yeah. what can we do in terms of bioidentical? How is that different from uh, synthetic? Well, synthetic hormones are actually chemicals and drugs that the pharmaceutical companies make to, to, to treat diseases, treat cancers. They are not. Bioidentical meaning we don't make those hormones in our body. Any hormones that our bodies don't make, don't take them. 